What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 Regulation D Team Guide Moveset Guide thing. Anyways, so what we're doing is we're gonna talk about Hisui and Avalog. I'm gonna explain how you can use it in VGC and why, despite the thumbnail saying it's not bad, question mark, it might be a little bit bad, but it's it's a cool Pokemon. I actually think it's better than regular Avalog in VGC right now, uh, but yeah. Before we do that, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content and answer my comment question of the day, which is what Pokemon should I cover next? And yeah, let's get into it. Also, it says it's not bad question mark because my, my thumbnail artist made it uh, before I recorded this and now I know it's very bad because I did another video. I did a showdown live is coming out later today using the Pokemon and it's not the worst, right? But it's not great. Uh, so yeah, let's go over the Pokemon really quick. Uh, it's got 95 HP, 127 attack, 84 defense, 34 special attack, 36 special defense, and 38 speed. Now, if we were to compare that to uh, old Avalug, uh, old Avalug versus Hisuian Avalug is pretty similar, but it, I would argue that Hisuian Avalug would do better if they didn't if if they didn't buff its speed. I don't know why they gave it more speed. Hisui and Avalug would be really, really good if it was slower than Amoongus, but it's not. Um, it's faster than Amoongus, which is kind of bad. Uh, it is slower than like Ursaluna and Tinglu, though, which is a very nice speed tier. Uh, you can hit those for some pretty powerful attacks. So yeah, Hisui and Avalug is weaker um, on the physical offensive side, uh, but, you know, it's, it's, it's whatever. Uh, the typing, I would say, despite it being a pretty garbage typing, Rock Ice leaves you times four weak to what? Steel... Fighting, uh, you're weak to water moves, you're weak to ground moves. It's not very good defensively, but it does have the advantage of you have two weathers that will boost your defenses. Sand will actually boost your special defense by 50%, and snow will boost your physical defense by 50%, which I think might have been intentional in the design. Uh, so that is pretty cool. But on the offensive side of things, rock and ice is actually really difficult to switch into. Uh, the only thing that walls both of those is actually going to be steel, which this thing does get access to body press. Off of a 184 defense stat, so that is very good. So yeah, um, I'm, I just have two move sets for you guys today. Uh, we'll go into like a hypothetical third move set, but this can be a quick one. I I don't think that there's a lot of ways to run Hisui and Avalug, but it is going to be a hard Trick Room partner, which or a hard Trick Room Pokemon, which is why I have basically four recommended partners for this thing. Um, and yeah, it, it's going to be fairly straightforward, but you do have to like account for its weaknesses. So this set. Oh, I have to talk about one thing really quick. Um, they gave this thing uh, an exclusive move called Mountain Gale. Mountain Gale is just a slightly better Icicle Crash. It is, I believe, a little bit stronger. What's Icicle Crash's base power again? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let's let's take a look at this. Icicle Crash, 85 base power and 90 accuracy, where Mountain Gale is 100 base power, 85 accuracy, and they both have that 30% chance to flinch. But yeah, I actually think that's a pretty garbage move. Um, and the, the reason I think it's actually pretty garbage, I think you would run it if you were running like a choice band set. Um, but the thing is they gave it the ability strong jaw. So there is really no reason to ever run mountain gale. It is never going to flinch because you're slow unless you're under trick room, then you have a chance to flinch. But if you have strong jaw, the move ice fang goes from 65 base power to a 50% boost to 97 base power. That is just three points weaker than Mountain Gale. It is 10% more accurate, and it has a chance to freeze or flinch. Granted, both of those are lower, but both of those are good things, you know? Um, and not missing is the most important part. So never run Mountain Gale. Just run Strong Jaw Ice Fang. And for that reason, I think Ice Body and Sturdy are almost never going to be ran on this thing. Um, as for other moves, being a rock type means that it is going to be a decent rock slide user under Trick Room, and it does have really good attack stats, so it does hit pretty hard. Um, Heavy Slam is essential for beating Fluttermane. Actually, this set is going to be able to eat a Specs Fluttermane uh, Moonblast with a Ting Lu next to it. That is pretty essential to making this set work. Uh, but yeah, and the final move is going to be Crunch. However, I Crunch is like what? That's 120 base power after Strong Jaw. It's really strong. Uh, so. You could actually drop Crunch or any one of these moves, probably not Rock Slide, but maybe Heavy Slam, uh, for Terra Blast, because actually I think that becoming a Grass type is really good for it. Um, it makes it so it doesn't hate facing off versus Amoongus, uh, and you're going to be able to just 1v1 Amoongus every time. You're not going to have to worry about getting slept because it's slower than you under Trick Room, 
Um, you're not going to worry about redirection, and it's going to allow you to just have another move to hit things that you wouldn't be able to hit, like uh, water types, which you only hit for neutral with rock slides. So having that one shot is really, really good. So yeah, uh, Hisui Navalug, a really decently offensive threat into Trick Room. I actually think that if it kept own tempo like the other Avalog and it wasn't able to be intimidated because of that, which by the way, they buffed own tempo if you didn't know, that's a thing. A lot of people don't know this, but own tempo was buffed. You can't be intimidated. Um, then Hisui and Avalog could run Mountain Gale with the Choice Band and be a little bit more threatening, but I do like that Strong Jaw gives you that um, stronger Ice Fang so you don't have to worry about missing. The other Avalog set I have for you guys today, pretty specific. It is going to be an Iron Defense Body Press set. Why? Oh, I'm stupid. There we go. It's going to be an Iron Defense Body Press set. Um, and it still runs Strong Jaw for that 100% accurate, uh, or not 100% accurate, but that more accurate Ice move. Uh, but the moveset is going to be um, Ice Fang, Heavy Slam, Body Press, Iron Defense. You could also drop Protect, or you could also drop one of these moves for Protect, but I don't recommend it. Um, the Leftovers is going to give you some decent recovery, and the reason we're 172, 252 um, on the HP and Spit F with the Sassy Nature is because this will allow you to actually eat a Specs Fluttermane a good amount of the time. Like, if, if they hit you with this, right, 172, Moonblast... Choice Specs Fluttermane, it isn't always going to one-shot you. You have a really decent chance to live. It's going to allow you to do whatever you need to. However, um, I do recommend Terra Steel for that reason. It's going to make it so not only your Heavy Slam stronger, but also you're going to be taking um, around a little less than half from that Moonblast. Uh, and you'll be able to smack it back with a really powerful uh, Heavy Slam. That being said, without the Terra Steel, your Heavy Slam will still have a 97% chance to one-shot. What was that? Uh... 81% chance to one shot. Um, max HP or max defense, 36 HP Flutter Main, which is a set. A lot of people don't know that. That is a very common way to run uh, Flutter Main. You want to run a lot of defense on it. So being able to one shot it is really nice. Um, the 12 defense is obviously just dumped because we don't really need the rest in the HP. And it's going to give you um, a little bit more bang for your buck every time you iron defense. But yeah, this thing's really scary. If you manage to get up even like a single iron defense and you're going up against like uh, a Ting Lu, right? Let's go with like, I don't know, just offensive Citrus Berry Ting Lu. Um, then your body press is actually going to be doing some pretty significant damage. 71 to 87% because of how naturally high that defense stat is. It is a very scary Pokemon. And if you really want to get crazy with it, Terra Fighting isn't the worst Terra type that you could go with on this guy. Um, you will have less weaknesses than you have before, which is an improvement. So if you were to slap the Terra Fighting on him and Terrastalize, you can actually see that this body press is just going to be doing like a ton of damage. Even unboosted, it's a 2-hit KO versus Ting Lu. So that is a really impressive thing. Speaking of Tinglu, Tinglu is going to be one of the best partners for this guy because it is a walking assault vest for your entire team. It's also a really decent trick room Pokemon. Um, you're going to be able to have Heavy Slam on this thing if you don't want to run it on your uh, Hasuri Navalug, which will allow you to open up a, a slot on this thing for like, I don't know, Protect on either of these because neither of these guys have Protect. I, it's really hard to actually have Hasuri Navalug run Protect in my opinion because <laughs> you really want all those moves. Um, but yeah. Uh, also, Tinglu is going to be able to just deal with some Pokemon that this guy doesn't want to deal with. For example, Fluttermane. You can actually allocate the Terra to this guy and um, wall out Fluttermane with it. You can protect your Hisui and Avalog and then Heavy Slam that Fluttermane. Um, Tinglu is also just like a really nice Trick Room attacker. It has 110 attack, right? Uh, but being able to smack things with uh, Ruination, another Rock Slide... Um, heavy Slam, Stomping Tantrum, all these are like really important. But the main benefit of having Tingle on that team is going to be that Vessel of Ruin to make sure that you can actually eat those hits on the special defensive side. So yeah, Cresselia is, I think, an essential partner. Cresselia will allow you to go for Lunar Blessings next to your Hisuian Avalog, healing it up. You're going to be able to go for Helping Handed Rock Slides, which is really important. And of course, that Trick Room is going to be like essential to making sure your, your Hisuian Avalog can actually get anything done in a game. If you don't have that Trick Room, you're not getting anything done. It's just not going to happen. So yeah, very solid Pokemon. Also, just defensively, it's resisting fighting moves, and it's immune to ground moves, and it doesn't really care about rock moves too much. Yeah, Cresselia is pretty uh, essential to making Avalog work, which you'll see in the Showdown Live I'm going to upload later today. Amoongus. It is a good Trick Room partner because it is a Spore user. It also has access to Pollen Puff to heal your Hisuian Avalog. Rage Powder is really nice for um, redirecting away like a Moonblast from your Hisuian Avalog because while it doesn't want to eat um, Moonblasts, um, it will be able to... Let's get rid of that Terrastal so we don't have to deal with it. Um, it will be able to eat like 
Dazzling Gleams pretty effectively. So if we were to look at the Choice Specs Flutter main set, that Dazzling Gleam, you know, even if it's Terrastalize, uh, you're going to be eating it if, you know, you don't, you, obviously like Moonblast will one-shot you, but um, this set that I gave you with like the, the Iron Defense Body Press stuff, uh, it doesn't care about Terrastalize Specs uh, Dazzling Gleam. So, you know, if they can only hit you with the spread move, Evla can handle it. Final partner I'm going to recommend for this guy is actually going to be Ursaluna. Ursaluna wouldn't be run with Tinglu, but rather um, as an alternative to Tinglu. Like I said, it is just another really offensive Pokemon. And while Ursaluna doesn't like dealing with grass types um, like Rillaboom and other things, you know, uh, things that can just one shot it with like a wood hammer or even Amoongus, which can possibly put it to sleep if you're, you know, uh, if you're not running for some reason the gut set. Uh, the Hisui and Avalog does cover those uh, weaknesses pretty effectively, especially the Terra Grass set. Terra Blast will allow you to deal with the water types as well that Ursaluna doesn't like to deal with. Uh, and yeah, it's just like a really good partner. I actually, actually, let me check something. Do you get Wide Guard? You should get Wide Guard. Yeah, you get Wide Guard. So if you really wanted to, you could also run Wide Guard on like one of these sets. Um, and that would allow you to uh, go for Earthquakes next to it a little bit more effectively. Yeah, that's going to be uh, my advice on how to use Hisui and Avalog. I don't think it's going to be a top tier threat, but I do expect it to actually make a splash at least once or twice in this metagame. Uh, it's going to be a really interesting Pokemon. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, and I'll see you in the next one, which is going to be a showdown live using this Pokemon later today. At low ladder. It will be low ladder. We cannot make this thing work on high ladder. Have a nice one. Bye.